Did you call me? Oh, you had a bad dream? Oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. That's all it is, though. It's just a bad dream. It's not real. Don't worry. Nothing is ever going to hurt you as long as I'm here. I promise you. Nothing will ever harm you. I will always protect you. You know what? I actually have magic hands and I can take all of those bad memories away from that dream. So let me just wave my hand. And you're going to forget all about the bad dream that you had. Shh. Close your eyes. You just wipe. Wipe off the memories away. And then I'm going to replace them with all your happy, favorite memories. Think about everything that makes you happy and focus on it. Focus on the things that make you smile. Yeah, I can check under the bed for monsters, definitely. I'm pretty sure there's none, but I will. I will do a little monster check. Just as I suspected, all clear. You know what, though? Your grandmother, she taught me how to make a special potion that was actually a monster repellent. So just to be safe, how about I spray some monster repellent? Any monster was thinking about coming in here. There's no way they'll want to once they smell the monster repellent. What do you think about that? Alright, hold still. I have some right here. Yeah, now it keeps it keeps the monsters away. It keeps you nice. And safe. So I'm gonna spray this on you. And then you don't have anything to worry about. So I had to slip that. Spray it all over you. Just make sure. Spray a little in the room as well. That should do the trick. Now I'll stay with you until it's time for you to fall asleep, definitely. You know what? Why don't I, why don't I read you a little book? Reading you stories always helps for you to fall asleep. So yeah, I'll climb in here with you and I will get your favorite book. Here it is. So why don't I read this to you? And you just close your eyes and think very happy thoughts, okay? Before I start reading the book though, have I told you today how proud of you I am? I'm always proud of you. I want you to remember that. Why? Well, besides the fact that you're the smartest, funniest, best looking kid in the entire universe, you also just happen to have the best heart, and that's the most 
most important thing. You have such, such a beautiful heart. And I'm always, always proud of you. And I just want you to always remember that I love you with my whole heart, no matter what, forever and ever. Because you're just the most amazing person in the entire world. And you're the most special person in the entire world. And no one There's only one of you, and there will always only be one of you. There's no one else like you in the entire world. And I just want you to remember how amazing you are, and how special you are, and how much I love you. Okay? Alright, baby. So I'm going to get in bed now. And we're going to read this book a little, okay? Your favorite. You ready, comfy baby? Alright, good. So here we go. Here's your favorite book. Wherever you go. He's riding his little bike down the path. Fall the pretty fluffy pink trees. Such a beautiful little town. I want to take you somewhere like this one time. Alright, so here we go. When it's time for a journey to learn and to grow, roads guide your footsteps wherever you go. Roads give you chances to seek and explore. Want an adventure? Just open your door. You can see all the beautiful trees. And he's riding his bike down the path. And he's going to go through the bridge. Look at these little alligators here. They're fishing. It looks so pretty, that's not. I love the fall leaves. I love that little bridge tunnel. Yeah, it's like the one that we drove through that time, you're right. So he's going on his chair. And then it says, roads go. Over a hill, under a bridge, deep in a valley, high on a ridge. If you yearn for the ocean or wish for a stream, roads bring you closer to reaching your dream. Yeah, it looks like a storm's coming. Look at all the rain. to ride his bike all down this mountain road and over the bridge. Yeah, he's a long way to go. Good thing he has an umbrella. Road zoom beneath city buildings that tower on high, twinkling like stars in the dark velvet sky. Racing past signs, reflecting their light, zigging and zagging, turn left, then turn right. Yeah, he's in the city now, got these tall buildings. Look at that funny looking guy. He has like a duck face and a hat. Yeah. There's the theater. Going on a big adventure. Are you getting sleepy? Alright, good. No, you can't have any chocolate milk right now. It'll keep you up, but I promise. 
promise you tomorrow for lunch you can have some, okay? Deal? Alright, deal. So now it says, roads bend, detours head, where you wouldn't expect, showing you various ways to connect, bringing you closer, then curving away. You always have choices to go or to stay. What's up here? There's like a circus and there's hot air balloons. Looks so amazing. That would be a fun place to ride the bike, wouldn't it? And look at the water canals. The little animals are riding their boats in the water canals. That looks like so much fun. And all these people have their balloons. Look like a good time. Yeah, we can get a balloon tomorrow after school, definitely. Oh, okay, so here we go. Roads reach across flowing rivers, past harbors and bays with breathtaking bridges designed to amaze, attaching to places that once were apart. Choose to cross over, follow your heart. Yeah, so he has to cross all these bridges. Look at all those bridges. Which one's your favorite? Yeah, I like that one too. This one kind of reminds me of this bridge. Roads merge, small, distant roads sometimes travel alone, marking the miles out there on their own. Then a new road wants to join in on the fun, heads the same way, and the two become one. So there's like these guys and they're coming from a different direction. Little bunny is riding his bike, and they're both going to meet in the middle. Yeah, there's a little house over there. There's some cactus, sort of like a desert. And his little friend, the owl, is following him. Roads grow, well-traveled roads sometimes need extra space to guide life's adventure to a new place. Which path should you choose that's easy to see? The one that will take you where you wish to be. me sort of, of like the Ewoks when the Ewoks would be up in their trees looking so cozy and the little lights are on. It would be fun to live in one of those tree houses, you're right. Look at this guy, he's crossing the bridge. There's like a little stairway in there. I know, it's so cozy. I agree. Look, now it's snowing. Roads wait for click-clacking trains and boats with tall sails. Slow-going hay wagons carrying bales. Spotlights and crosswalks. A deer with a friend. Roads sometimes pause or just come to an end. Yeah, look at all the 
the snow and they're driving through the tree tunnel. There's like a little deer crossing the road right there. There's a little squirrel on its back. These little cozy houses here. Yeah, sometimes the road that you're traveling on, sometimes it, you know, it comes to its end. You always have to know when to stop. Roads climb steep mountain peaks dusted lightly with snow rising above the deep canyon below clinging to cliffs chasing a cloud reaching the top tired yeah, so look, they climbed this whole mountain and they're very tired from their long journey but they're so proud of themselves because they never gave up. They kept going and going no matter how hard it was. Yeah, they make, they're going to make it all the way to the top. There's eyes the clouds. There's eyes the birds. Should we count the birds? Look, there's one. Three, four, five, six birds. Roads remember every life landmark, the big and the small, the moments you tripped, the times you stood tall. Where are you going? And where you began, what you expected, what you didn't plan. Yeah, there's a lot of things that you can't plan for. There's always going to be like unexpected things that pop up on your journey, but it's okay. Like it says, there'll be moments you trip, but you always stand tall in the end. You always complete. see things through. Yes. Yeah, no, there will be times when you get tired. But, you know, I'm always here for you and you just have to keep going. One foot in front of the other. And eventually you'll get Exactly where you want to be. Roads return during your journey. You'll ramble and roam, but sooner or later, you'll think of your home. After you've seen all you needed to see, a road takes you back where you're longing to be. Yeah, as nice as it is to go on trips, it's always so nice to come home. Sleep in your own bed. Yeah, so they're saying goodbye to each other. They're going to go back to their houses now. So they're going back on their little merry way down this road, and the bunny's taking the bridge back to his house. And they're going to go back to their houses and sleep in their beds. Back to that hill under the bridge deep in your valley high on your ridge roads take you all over the planet but then you always can follow them home once again see so now after his big long journey he's coming home to his house be home, it's a nice cozy house, and look, it looks like maybe his wife or someone that lives there has baked a pie for him, there's a pie in the windowsill, what kind of pie? 
high do you think it is? Mm. That sounds good. So yeah, he had a great journey and he went on a lot of adventures, but now he's so happy to be home and cozy in his little bed. Just like you're so cozy in your little bed. You feel better now? Why don't you close your eyes and try to get some sleep. You'll have a big day tomorrow. Yeah, we have a fun day planned tomorrow. We are, we are going to get ice cream after school. It's going to be so much fun. So I'll stay here until you fall asleep. 